Here we go. Top of the morning to you. I think this is no. That's I guess that's Irish, right? Well, you know what I'm saying. Ah, so look, oh, we got some stuff to talk about today. As you can see, well, wait a second. Let me look right here. What happened was I came down here. We went to the health food store. I got the debt to get stuff, some necessary stuff. You know, I gotta get some stuff, right? Always, I always stopped health food stores long, long before they were health food stores. Anyway. They didn't have any prune juice, organic prune. Well, I don't say, I didn't ask, sorry, take that back. I didn't actually ask them. Uh, it was a whole long thing. But she had the door, they, they were an older couple, you know what I mean? So they had, you know, you couldn't go through. You had to actually show your uh, card to the thing. She copies the number down on the street. Then get your stuff, put your number in the bag so you get your, all your stuff back so they can, hopefully, who knows. Okay. Um, so anyway, so I don't blame them. And then they only crack the door, put their bag through, you know. But they're older couple, you know, scared. Everybody's scared. As well, you should be, I guess. They should be. I'm going to get to that a little bit later. Anyway, so of course, they didn't have my prune juice. Then we went to the, uh, the food line. They didn't have, they didn't have no, pr no organic prune juice either. I had another thing some other time. But so I did, no, so my sister did have some smooth move tea. Smooth move, no, smooth move. So, you know, tea for, you know what it is, Okay. So what I did last night, I actually don't like, well, I should say, I don't like smooth oil that much. You know, I, I, you know, you're supposed to brew it, so, but I don't do that. So what I did was I just last night, because I have my water, I put the water, I got my, you know, 8.8 .8, uh, alkaline, you know, with Himalayan minerals water. And I just put the tea bag last night before I went to bed, I guess, whatever. And uh, I just let it do all night. So let's we'll see what happens. <laughs> It's, I guess it's appropriate. Actually, I'm drinking out of an army mug. You see, of course, I was an army. I was a, I was Air Force. All right. So here's the thing. I'm excited. <laughs> of course, when I say fine, I should say that. Uh, I saw a thing. Uh, the Breakfast Club. They did a uh, 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 Bob Johnson. You know Bob Johnson, who uh, I didn't know this, but he graduated Princeton in '72. Guess what I was doing in '72. I was I was at Princeton and said, nah, stop, don't get excited. <laughs> I was at Princeton at 72. I was working at Princeton Hospital. And long story short, you know, I was, I was, anyway, long story short, um, my best friend who I've been going to see in, um, uh, in a, a month, in about a month, uh, in um, St. Louis, he was he was the tenant of Princeton too. He's the one that did Saturday Soul, the Saturday Soul with JB. So that was my first task really task in radio in community radio was uh, the WPRB that radio station there in Princeton and I was a code in residence for his program. I bring that all up bring because Bob Johnson I don't know he graduated in 72. So I called up JB. I said JB this guy do you know this guy? <laughs> and he said well you know it's a big cancer blah 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 he he said he graduated because JB graduated in 74. Yeah graduated in 74. So he probably then he probably nah, 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 nah. so isn't that Interesting. Hey, the world is connected somehow. <laughs> Actually, I know when I go to JB, I see the, the, the Princeton alumni book, you know, so I guess let me go off on that. But the, here's the important thing. You know, um, uh, Bob Johnson got his bones because, you know, some Republican types, but it's called business types, they gave enough money to do BET. And BDT in partnership with BET. So he was the face of it. And then later on, he sold a lot of blah, blah, blah. blah. Uh, but his points on the Be Beverage Club, I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm glad. At least 85%. I would even go high as 90%. He got it right. I would even give him higher, because, but I don't want to you know, stroke anybody's thing. But it's amazing. Now, it's interesting because all my life, or I shouldn't say it like that, the folks like Bob Johnson, we have never known them to be like, in, you know, black, black, black community. When, uh, so, so anyway, so I I start to think, I said, wow, this is interesting because he, even with ADOS, not we, but you know, people are, you know, you gotta be on AGS with you, da 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 da. And a lot of times we, you know, I, I never, let me put it this way, Miss Neely Fuller Jr. says, you know, you, you, you don't really comment on somebody else's thing. You say, well, that's what they said. And you keep on doing your thing. It's a very simple thing. It's about economy. If you spend time putting this person down, da da da, then you spend time putting that person down. Don't get me wrong. I know the strategy and tactics. Um, uh, uh, I mean, you know, like for instance, ADS, you know, uh, what's, what's, what's one of Yvette's favorite, well, Anyway, their favorite whipping person is 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 Charlemagne the God, and I always disagree with that. Not because you know, 
first you have to know where the God thing comes from. He's explained before. You know, I think it was part of five percent. It's whatever. You know, just anyway. It doesn't matter. He's never that thing. And he's not a, he's not really a journalist. But that's but what journalist who is a journalist out there? You ever seen a Washington press corps? You've seen those things. I remember when Chuck Todd started in some other thing, and they were fawning over him and they they, they they brought him through, and he's still an idiot. So I'm not gonna go, you know. So anyway. So it's happened, you have Charlemagne the God and Bob Johnson on the same program doing an ADOS thing. Super interesting, don't you think? But this is another thing. I just want to say this, hopefully last thing. Um, yeah, you know, when I listen to Breaking Brown, you know, when I listen to, you know, uh, uh, Breaking Brown on Monday nights and, and Wednesday nights, my favorite part, you know, yeah, of, my favorite part is the call-ins. Let's put it that way. I know that call-ins use the echo chambers and you're just going to do whatever. To, you, I understand that. However, sometimes you get, a lot of times you get some calls and that's really good. You know, I forgot there was this brother that called in from Atlanta. He seemed to be very well connected in the, you know, uh, 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 the civil rights, we have the political thing out there. And he has said, said something one time, which I always, before he, whatever, which is you always leave the light on in the motel. You always leave the light on. Meaning that you no matter what's, Prodigal son kind of thing. No matter what people are doing, you don't you leave them alone. Leave the line so they can come back home. You see. So in a way, this is like Bob Johnson coming back home. Don't get me wrong. Maybe, maybe he's. I don't know. <laughs> All I know, it was amazing to me, right? But a lot of other people are going to turn on this. You know, I'm going to turn on. I mean, come into the fold. And 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 if you, for instance, let me stay with with with, with Charlemagne the God. If you, first of all, I never like. You shouldn't call people out of their names. No matter if out of their hope. The whole thing about coon, da, da, da. And that's not special. Let me put it. Everybody has to adjust. We're now in a different phase. We're in a, we're in a definitely in a. You can't say war footing because we don't. Yeah, war footing. You know, as you know, I'm wearing my Ogun stuff. You know, Ogun is is red, black, and green in the Yoruba uh, pantheon, and then Ogun is is, is a. I'm a child of Ogun, which means that the, well, Ogun is the warrior. You know, what I mean, he's the one that you know with the you know with the. Uh, uh, with with the machete and the, and the grass skirt, you know, and you know what he. I can get you a whole thing about Goon, but he's the one to clap, uh, 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 clear the path and, and, and so that the other reaches come, can come down. He's the one to cut the grasses because he made iron and da da da. doesn't matter. All I'm trying to say, and also Ogun is about, um, that's my thing over here. Ogun, remember, he's an iron and, and well, steel. He's also, here's the way I relate to Ogun. Ogun is also, should you say, hey, this is a surgical instrument. Well, it's, 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 it's a surgical instrument. Since he's in charge of surgery, he's also the Orisha for, you know, for medicine, for well, I say medicine, but for medicine, for, for tools of medicine. So, for, so basically, Ogun uh, can war and heal at the same time. We get into some other time. I'll, I'll debate. I won't debate any of you. I'll, I'll send John Mason or, or, or my, my spiritual advice to just debate, debate Europe and scholars on, on this. Anyway, so this is important because a lot of people are coming around. Is and and, and 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 at the same time, you know. We need to knock out some people. I'll give you an example. I saw where I saw Marian Williamson was on being interviewed by, you know, the Hill people, the two Crystal and Saga, whatever happened. And what she was saying, I always follow little Marian. Well, she was at our our, um, our conference, you know, the first conference of ATOS last year. And right now, if you listen to her, it's like they're putting um, uh, Barack Obama there. But, you know, she has done more for ADOS than Barack Obama. She has done more aid for she has done for more for the, the downtrodden community than Barack Obama. So we should never and I'm waiting for him to come out because people are gonna they're gonna be beating on him really bad. Oh yeah, well what was you in Occupy Wall Street and Black Lives Matter and you know all this, and, and you know and, and remember you call us thugs and da-da-da, you said all that. Whoa, you called us names. We wanted to welcome you in, but hmm, what did you do? That kind of thing. So we have to. So anyway, so I'm very hopeful because what's happening is uh, if we stay in our our stuff, right? There's other stuff. People have other agendas all around. But if we stay strong and keep on moving, moving, moving again, that tip of that spear, you know, the tip of that ogun machete. <laughs> if we do that, no matter what everybody else is doing, no matter what all these other people are doing, it doesn't matter. So I am so happy. I am so hopeful. You know. I can't tell you how hopeful I'm having. I being me. T from the Patterson is taking a change to bed, letting you know what I only suspect for reality or the Virginia deaths of the ADOS. That would be the American descendants of chattel slavery. Well, the North American descendants of chattel slavery. Take care. Check your label. <laughs>